In this video, I'm going to show you how to bake uh, ambient occlusion in Blender. So first, I've added this material. It is just uh, a cylinder with 64 vertices and add an in inset and extrude and mix the shape. Uh, and uh, added a bevel to this object. Next, I've added the material. So in order to bake uh, the ambient occlusion, uh, there are two methods. The first is using uh, go to this the render tab and change this to cycles and the GPU supported because if you don't know support ambient occlusion baking and uh, change the max samples to 10. Uh, but in the case of uh, ambient occlusion baking, if I bake this directly with the ambient occlusion, I need to increase the max sample because ambient occlusion. Uh, does matter with samples. If you load the samples, it will uh, make the ambient occlusion baking noisy. So you need to increase the max samples. And this method is a longer method. I do not recommend this method. If you break this with this method, uh, you can get uh, a decent result with higher samples. But if you bake with the lower samples, uh, it will take longer. And if you uh, decrease the samples, it will not give you the desired results. So uh, in this uh, now I'm gonna show you the new method uh, the emit method. So in this method you can use the emit and uh, add an ambient occlusion uh, node. You can see you can plug the ambient occlusion and change this to by pressing ctrl shift and left click you can see the ambient occlusion if i change this to the material mode you can see you can see the ambient occlusion of the materials so if you want to change the ambient occlusion intensity you can change the, the distance of the node so if i change this to 0 0.1 you can see uh, the ambient occlusion is very little if I change this to about 0 0.3, it is it will increase. So uh, after you get what you desired result, the next thing to bake the ambient occlusion, you need to uh, select this bake and make sure to bake type to emit. Now we need to change this to change this in order to make it faster. So I'm going to select bake now. Uh, it will bake the material. Uh, sorry, first I'm gonna add an image texture. And uh, in UV editing, I'm gonna add a new image texture. Uh, change the name to ambient occlusion. Change the name to ambient. And change the width and size to 2048. 2048 and disable this alpha and press ok now in modeling tab no no in layout tab you can select the the image that you have created before ambient and say change this to linear now after selecting both the object and the uh, the image i'm gonna press back now it will bake the ambient occlusion. We will wait and we will see the texture. Now uh, we have baked the texture. Now if you see the UV editing, you can see it has baked all the textures. You can see. Now uh, if you want to save the image, go to image and save us. And go to the file where, where you want to save the image and save the image. Now after you bake this, you can use uh, it as a normal ambient occlusion. So this is how you bake ambient occlusion in Blender. Thanks for watching.